toughness, our discipline, and our focus. No winning ball game. Play for yourself, play for each other. All right, that's what we do. Okay? Play for the man next to you. Fam on three, fam on three. One, two, three. Man. He sucked again. The ball picked up. They got over to the end zone. Big plays back to back. Boom. Touchdown, Carolina. Are you kidding me? The Gamecocks win it. Well, the Gamecocks were up 20 to 17 over number nine Florida in the third quarter, but 21 unanswered points by the Gators. Carolina quite, can't quite come back. 38-27 the final score. Coach, when you're playing the number nine team in the country, you got to have some things go right for you. you got to get some help. It felt like some things were going against us today. No breaks whatsoever for the Gamecocks. Well, we've got to, as coaches, number one, and it's starting with me and, and as players, you got to make some plays in those situations. You look at the critical fourth down conversion that they made. They made a good throw and a good catch. We're in position. We got to somehow figure out a way to get the ball off the guy. You got to, you know, make a play when they buy a little time down there, being able to throw. We got to throw the football better offensively to give ourselves a break for our run games. We are running the ball well, uh, but we've got to get more consistent throwing it. And it's whether it's protection, whether we had some drop passes for the first time, we're out running, or just throwing and catching the ball better. We've got to get better at that. I said that after the Georgia game. Yeah, and Florida flipped the field on us, got us down to about the three-yard line, pinned us back there. We couldn't quite come out, and it seemed to change the momentum of the game after that. Yeah, we had the turnover, and then, and then I felt like with about seven minutes to go down 11, we needed to go for it in that situation. But, uh, again, we give, we give them credit. They made the plays they needed to uh, at the end of the game, and we didn't. Coach, on our Prisma Health injury report, right off the bat, Rico Daddle, who's been so healthy this year and running so hard in the first series, goes out. How's he doing? How's the rest of the football team? We'll know more about Rico. They shut him down for the game, so I don't think it's good, but, I, but we'll know more as we move forward. We're going to get MRI tonight. Had A.J. Turner out. Brian Edwards okay? He was out late in the game. At Just least. had a contusion on his hand. He'll be fine. Brian Edwards, I guess so the Gamecocks got to stay healthy as we're mid-season now. Everybody dinged up a little bit. Well, the Gamecocks fall to the Florida Gators, but it was a battle in a rainy williams Price Stadium. When we come back on Gamecock football with Will Muschamp, we'll have highlights. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Britons of Columbia, dressing South Carolina for success since 1946. Contract Construction, Garvin Design Group, HNTV. And by Wild Wing Cafe, where great food rocks. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Properties. For the past 42 years, and with over 28 million sold, more people have put their hard-earned money on a Ford F-Series truck than any other pickup in America. Yeah, I'd say that's money well spent. It's Ford Truck Month, America. Time to join the stampede. Now during Truck Month, get zero for 72 on select F-150s, or get 11,500 in total savings at your Carolina Ford dealer. We had a large storm, and our home was hit pretty bad. The next day, a friend of ours recommended Crescent Construction. They came out and replaced our entire roof, and we were very pleased with the work they did. Call Crescent Construction's professional staff to do a detailed roof inspection at your home today. Absolutely free. I've already referred Crescent Construction to a friend of mine. Call Crescent Construction, South Carolina's number one roofer and the official roofer of the Carolina Gamecocks. When is the last time you traced your roots? Not your family's roots. The roots of the food you eat. Those roots should run deep, not from afar. Just like the legacy of farmers here in South Carolina. Day in, day out, farmers from every corner of our state are carrying on the traditions of bringing locally grown food to your table. So, choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. 
Join us every week at Wild Wing Cafe for Carolina Calls from 7 to 8 o'clock. Wild Wing Cafe is Columbia's home for hot wings, cold beer, and good times. Tune in to Carolina Calls every week and go to wildwingcafe.com for more information. Welcome back. Battling at williams Price Stadium is always a good thing, even a tough weather day in the Gamecocks fall today to the Florida Gators. Let's coach, let's go to our Toyota keys to the game. Toyota, let's go places. Dan Mullins creative in his offensive play call. We knew there'd be problems there, but between the rain and you having a quarterback who was a little banged up this week, it's, it's hard to keep up with him. Well, it is. They did a nice job in the throwing game and they created obviously some explosives there late that hurt us. You know, really felt like the game as it was going, they had the long touchdown run where we just mis misfit the run on that. Uh, but we had played pretty well defensively till we got down where we, we were on a short field. We got to make some stops in those situations. Ran the ball extremely well offensively, uh, but you know we just got to find some ways to throw the football better. Speaking of the short field, coach, there were some tough calls down there today. I don't know if you had yeah. a chance to watch or yeah. talk to your players at all, but uh, some uh, nine penalties on the day, only one against an offensive football team, and yeah. a bunch against the Gamecock defense. And no doubt about it. It's tough. Let's go out to Williams Price Stadium now. And coach was overcast, but a great crowd again showed up at a 12 o'clock game. Unbelievable crowd starts in Gamecock Walk. Really appreciate them and their support. And, uh, we, you know, new little run wrinkle we put in the run game, which was very successful with it. We come out in the second play of the game with the flea flicker. Felt really good about it. Well thrown ball. And then Brian goes up against a really good player and makes a tremendous catch. Uh, but you see really good design here. Uh, the corner loses his eyes just enough for Brian to get on top of him. And really, if what we call a 50-50 ball, he goes up and makes a play against a great player. Uh, we come back here, a critical uh, conversion here on third down to Shy Smith. Well-thrown ball. Again, we just got to be more consistent to be able to make those sort of plays as we continue to move forward. Second goal situation, really nice run by Taven Feaster, sticking the ball north and south. Uh, you know, that was a really productive play for us. And then Mon Denson's able to get the touchdown there on third and goal. Well, eight plays, 75 yards, that Mon Denson one-yard touchdown run. That's his second of the season. Here we are kicking off, and uh, they, they bring it out, and I think we had really good coverage. Yeah, this is on the 15, uh, uh, Spencer Easton Riddle. Fantastic coverage there by our, by our football team. Uh, good job here. Again, we played the run. The 75 yards is extremely disappointing, but other than that, uh, we hung in there in the run game, but you can't allow that to happen. They were able to get on the board right there, seven to three. Uh, you know, they went to their little bunch set, which really hurt us last year. We did a much better job uh, defense in that set. Really nice play on third down here by Israel, uh, knocking the ball off the, the receiver there. We get back to the inside run game, and Taven Feaster rips off a good one here, about 37 yards down the field. We get put uh, Parker White in a situation to, to kick the field goal there to go up 10-3. It was raining pretty good at that point. Nice job for Parker White. Uh, they come back down the field here, and, and, and again, we got, we're, in, we're in a position. We're in man-free. We miss the reception area from the middle of the field safety, and we've got to make a play on the ball right there. Nice job here on the quick screen on the perimeter. They killed us with that a year ago. We did a much better job of defending that there, and here we get a, a, a Nice job, you know, there of RJ making a stop on second down, and we get the stop here on the third down. Good job collapsing the pocket, and a really good coverage on the play by J.C. Horn. Underneath coverage with Jamie Robinson and Horn with another pass breakup. He's one of the tops in the SEC. Our coach is 10-10 with 7:25 in the second quarter, and you start making some plays offensively again. Yeah. Really nice job on a typical RPO right there. They come back. We have nice coverage on the play. Pitts is a really good player. Was not really a factor in the game other than the fourth down conversion. Uh, they come back. Nice sack right there by DJ Warnham. Uh, we had a little two-man game going on right there, and then we come out and make a couple more nice stops before that. So, Coach, you're stopping the run of the Florida Gators, which is what you want to do at halftime. Not a lot of plays down the field with their big uh, offensive weapons. One touchdown from that, and you're running the football. At half, you had to feel pretty good about what you were we doing. We did. I, 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 when the second quarter, we missed two, two shots to Shy and one to Brian, and we're open. We needed to hit those in those situations to take advantage and more momentum of the game. Do you think that had much to do about Ryan's missing a day or so in his injury or just missing some balls in the wow. weather? Unfortunately, we've been doing this for about three weeks. Right. We haven't thrown the ball well. Really, you go back to the Kentucky game, into the Georgia game, and now into this ball game. We haven't thrown the ball extremely well on the, on the offensive side. We've got to get better. Back-to-back -back top 10 opponents. This one's at williams Price Stadium. Let's go back out to second half highlights. So here we come back. Really nice job on the quick screen right there. First play of the second half. We roll into the coverage right there. We roll up, and it's a really nice play there. 
go back and again they float one over the top right there. Uh, Jamie Robbins does a nice job with the interception and we just need to get to the sideline right here and try and make a play as best we can. Uh, but we get a lot of momentum starting the second half. Uh, come back with the draw play on third and 11. Really nice call by our offensive staff. Well blocked and executed by our team. And, and uh, Fatavian Feast does a fantastic job of getting the ball in the end zone. Here's a long touchdown. The right tackle moves a little bit there. Uh, but we don't fit it right. We ought to stay inside out from a linebacker position. Uh, and then, you know, not real sure exactly what's going on down the field there as far as what 89's got. So disappointing to have that and get to let them get the momentum right back in the ball game. Good job coming back on the RPO. Uh, stop right there. Uh, nice job, good tackle and, and strips of uh, uh, Jamie Robinson. Really nice play. Uh, going back on third, third and 18 right here. They just run the ball. We're able to do a nice job in the run game, which we did for the most part. I'm just disappointed with the one run there. Uh, they come, we come back with a little pin and pull series, do a nice job of getting Taven Feaster in the open field. I think he had about 170 yards. Ran the ball extremely well. Again, we blocked it well here. Mon's got an opportunity to get the ball down the field. Uh, a lot of momentum here as we're, as we're moving down the field, running the ball extremely well, really well blocked here. We get the ball in the safety. I uh, wanted to make their sa safeties tackle in the game. Same pin and pull series right here with Mon Denson. Another nice play right here. We got third and eight right here. We go back with a draw. Tavian Feaster again hits it again. Does a really nice job of getting the ball down to the six yard line. We end up getting held down here. Uh, Settle for the field goal, but to go up three and, and a lot of momentum in the game right here. Third down again, fit the, the truck play really well. Defensively setting the edge of the defense and playing it inside out. We come back on the reverse. Really nice job right there by JT Bay and TJ Brunson uh, of playing the reverse right here. Second and eight again, another nice fit in the run game on the power play uh, by our defense. And then and we go to a, a first and 10 situation. This is after the fourth down play, I believe. Uh, they're able to buy some time in the pocket, and this is just a scramble pass. They're able to throw the ball to the back of the end zone, and we lose the, lose the guy in man coverage here. We're going to come back and down a four-point game. Uh, we're battling here second and five, and this is where we get, the, we get the ball knocked off of us. A little miscommunication on the redraw series right there. Uh, they come back with a little bootleg right here. Interception looks good to me. Uh, obviously, we got negated by a holding penalty at some point. Uh, we come back on the play, and we, they're blocking downfield, and 84 catches the ball past the line of scrimmage, which is obviously illegal. So uh, is what it is. And uh, we come back. They go back to a throwback. We defense it extremely well. Good job by our defense right there. Uh, again, we come back on the uh, RPO here. Uh, we get, get a pass interference call there. And then uh, they come back on the bunch set. We got to wrap up. We can't butt guys down. We got to tackle them in space, get them on the ground. Come back again. Nice play to second goal. Go to third and goal situation. And here we just got to make a play. I mean, this is a play that they had repped against Kentucky, uh, something we had repped and gone back. But I really like our guys' fight and how they came back in the second half and continued to, to go here. We're down 18, and we, we drive the ball back down and get a score. Uh, but that says a lot about the culture of your team. And, uh, the character of your team and the guys continuing to fight right here. The draw play was really good for us all day. Nice job by Feaster hitting the ball up the middle, getting the ball north and south, and, and, and our guys fighting to go, to go get the ball back into the end zone right here. And I think believes Ortre, well blocked by Kyle Markway. And uh, Mon Denson, Ortre gets the ball in. We've got to get a stop on defense. We don't get the onside kick. Uh, we're able to get a stop right there. Uh, to get the ball back just to give us another opportunity to go down and score. But they made the plays at the end of the game uh, to, to make the plays to win the game. We didn't. Those 21 straight points was big. You no know, question, uh, Trask made some clutch plays down there in the red zone. But man, when you see it cut up like that and you see the penalties and how they impacted that, when we got some of those pass interferences wherever they came from, that hurt a great deal. And the Gamecocks fall to the Florida Gators. Carolina is three and four on the season. When we come back, we'll have some superlatives, some Players played tremendously today for Carolina. That, that and more on Gamecock football with Will Muschamp. When the Gamecocks go bowling this year, you will too. South Carolina Farm Bureau Insurance is sending one lucky winner to whichever bowl game our Gamecocks attend. One winner and guest will get airfare, hotel accommodations, and tickets to the game. Visit usccontest.com to register and check out all the details. That's usccontest.com. Farm Bureau Insurance is a proud partner of Gamecock football and your home for the Gamecock Bowl Game Giveaway.
And when the unexpected happens to you, there's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. Hi, I'm Gamecock legend Connor Shaw, here to tell you that joining the Alumni Association is a home run. And as the new spokesperson for the Alumni Association, I want to represent all Gamecocks, regardless of their Carolina experience. Because that is what the Alumni Association does. They support all of us, not just record-breaking quarterbacks, like me. So join today or visit MyCarolina.org to learn more. Gamecocks are trying to hold momentum after maybe the biggest road win in the history of the program last week in Athens. How about that? We do what we do. Hey, dominate on three. One, two, three. Dominate. dominate. Down the field, Lawrence Edwards. It's a jump ball, and Brian's got it. It gets to the 25 yard line. He'll get it going right side. He'll get it, get into the end zone. He's going to look to the turf as he's down. Quick throw and a pick at the 35. That's Jamie Robinson, the freshman, looking for running room. Jamie with a stutter step at the 25. Beaster got room 20, 15, 10. Five, reaching for it. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Canadian Feaster from 41 yards out. And it's the wide receiver screen or Trey Smith or Trey diving for the end zone. Got it. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown or Trey Smith. Up next, we'll hear from Contract Construction, Garvin Design Group, and HNTB Design Firm. Right now, behind the red seats is basically uh, two clubs that aren't used very well. You can't see outside, and we're opening all that up. So you'll have glass and views to the outside of the stadium, and two super bombs, which take you from a new patio deck that the patrons will use, that they can see the field, and they'll enter into an air-conditioned club. So it'll be very similar to this, where it's air conditioning, you have new concessions, you have areas to sit, you have areas to gather, and it'll hold everybody that sits in the current red seats now. All those seats will be replaced with new seating. That'll be a really, really cool club experience. 
Hey Gamecock fans, this is Coach Will Muschamp. As head coach of the Gamecocks, I know it's important to practice healthy habits to stay in the game, including exercising regularly, reducing stress, and scheduling checkups with your doctor. As the official health care provider and team physician for the Gamecocks, Prisma Health helps the team stay healthy on and off the field. And with locations across the Midlands, they make it convenient for the entire Garnet and Black community to get the health care they need. To find out how you can live healthier, visit prismahealth.org forward slash Gamecocks. For the past 42 years, and with over 28 million sold, more people have put their hard-earned money on a Ford F-Series truck than any other pickup in America. Yeah, I'd say that's money well spent. It's Ford Truck Month, America. Time to join the stampede. Now during Truck Month, get zero for 72 on select F-150s or get 11,500 in total savings at your Carolina Ford dealer. When is the last time you traced your roots? Not your family's roots. The roots of the food you eat. Those roots should run deep, not from afar. Just like the legacy of farmers here in South Carolina. Day in, day out, farmers from every corner of our state are carrying on the traditions of bringing locally grown food to your table. So, choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. When the unexpected happens to you, there's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. Good hard work has earned Aaliyah Abrams the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the track and field team, Abrams is a junior public health major with a 3.607 GPA. This week's academic athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good, hard work. Third and 10, sprint draw, the speedster got room, 20, 15, 10, five, reaching for it. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Tavian Feaster from 21 yards out. Interception, 21 yard touchdown run. Boom, are you kidding me? We're up on number nine, Florida, with 13.57 to go in the third. That's our Sansbury Eye Center. Did you see that play? Tavian Feaster, coach, wasn't the first time that that play had worked, but it worked for a touchdown, this one, 21 yards out. And, uh, man, the sprint draw just seemed to be his play and your play today to get it going in the running. Well, it did. You know, they were an up-the-field rush team. They, they, they get on the edges a lot, so we were able to get the up the road. So it doesn't make it a hard block for your offensive line. We are able to climb up and block the linebacker, and he just got to find space, and he did a nice job. Our coming next pest player of the game is also Tavian Feaster, a career high. That's anywhere, 177 yards in that touchdown. And, Coach, it's nice to see players when you've got a, a teammate who's not in the ball game like Rico Daddle, pick up the slack and then some to go have your career day. Well, man down, man up, and that's the, that's the bottom line. We don't make excuses around here, and he certainly was a guy that picked up the slack for us in the running game and was very productive. Feaster helped the Gamecocks go over 200 yards rushing against the Florida Gators today. Congratulations to him. Now it's time to hear from Mike Carolina. Hi, I'm Gamecock legend Connor Shaw, here to tell you that joining the Alumni Association is a home run. And as the new spokesperson for the Alumni Association, I want to represent all Gamecocks, regardless of their Carolina experience. Because that is what the Alumni Association does. They support all of us, not just record-breaking quarterbacks like me. So join today or visit MyCarolina.org to learn more. When the Gamecocks go bowling this year, you will too. South Carolina Farm Bureau Insurance is sending one lucky winner to whichever bowl game our Gamecocks attend. One winner and guest will get airfare, hotel accommodations, and tickets to the game. Visit usccontest.com to register and check out all the details. That's usccontest.com. Farm Bureau Insurance is a proud partner of Gamecock football and your home for the Gamecock Bowl Game Giveaway.
For the past 42 years, and with over 28 million sold, more people have put their hard-earned money on a Ford F-Series truck than any other pickup in America. Yeah, I'd say that's money well spent. It's Ford Truck Month, America. Time to join the stampede. Now during Truck Month, get 0 for 72 on select F-150s or get 11500 in total savings at your Carolina Ford dealer. We had a large storm, and our home was hit pretty bad. The next day, a friend of ours recommended Crescent Construction. They came out and replaced our entire roof, and we were very pleased with the work they did. Call Crescent Construction's professional staff to do a detailed roof inspection at your home today. Absolutely free. I've already referred Crescent Construction to a friend of mine. Call Crescent Construction, South Carolina's number one roofer and the official roofer of the Carolina Gamecocks. Gamecock football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Britons of Columbia, dressing South Carolina for success since 1946. Contract Construction, Garvin Design Group, HNTB. And by Wild Wing Cafe, where great food rocks. Gamecock football with Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Properties. Welcome back, Coach. Back-to-back -back top 10 teams. You take down Georgia on the road, lose at williams Bryce Stadium today to Florida. But uh, what a crowd in a, in a 12 o'clock game with the rain. They did a nice job of coming out and helping out. Our fans are the best, most loyal, passionate fan base in the country. It starts in Gamecock Walk, and, um, and there's hundreds and hundreds of people there supporting our players, and we really appreciate that. They make a difference for us. They made a difference for us today. I'm sorry we couldn't get it done. Another SEC East battle next weekend. We go up to Knoxville to take on the Tennessee Volunteers. Coach, they've been up and down a little yeah. bit, playing better as of lately. Two and four, have Alabama tonight, later before we see it. But what do you know about the Vols? I think they've improved tremendously. Watched a little of their game against Mississippi State. They're a much better team than they were in the early part of the year. They get more production from the quarterback position. They've always been a very difficult team to match up with at the receiver position. And I think they've got some really skilled guys on the back end there defensively. Coach, I know you're always worried about your team, the health and all that. Midseason, everybody's dinged up. Are we going to be ready for the Vols? You think you got guys that are going to be able to bounce back? Maybe not Rico. We don't know enough about now. But Helensky with his knee. The carry I know the, the even his hamstring has been a lot worse than a lot of people know about. No doubt about it. You know, he was, uh, you know, got more limited as the week went, you know, as far as his hamstring is concerned. But, hey, our guys will bounce back. We've got really good leadership in our locker room. We've got a good culture in our organization. Our guys believe in each other, and we're going to get ready to go, go to Tennessee and play well. One, one thing that's nice we'll all point out, it's nice when we're disappointed when we got a top-10 team in town and we don't win the game or not playing that well. That's a good thing to have. Uh, thank you all for joining us, being out at williams Price today. Don't forget, after Tennessee, we'll be back on Game Talk Football with Bill Muschamp.